Hey guys, welcome back to Tease Room. Today I'm back with another video. So we have a lot to talk about today, guys. And we're going to start this off with our girl Mulatto. So we are not going to sit here and act like Mulatto did not kill her double XL freestyle. I mean, everybody is reposting it. Cardi B reposted it. Even Monica reposted it. A lot of people are making reactions to it. And you it. can just tell that people were shocked about her rapping ability and rapping skills i mean she definitely has that star potential and she definitely represented for the south side and the ladies now in her punchline she did kind of diss jermaine dupree because she said who do you know turned down a deal and made it off a of reality tv and still taken and off and if you guys haven't seen already make sure you click the link in my description in my video about why jermaine dupree regrets mulatto i was telling you you guys that mulatto turned down jermaine dupree's deal because it was not enough money so she kind of made that shot towards jermaine dupree saying who do you know still turns down the deal and still makes it out into the industry to be successful she had the slick bars already who you know came from the team is she talking the truth and the way that she said that this was very classy because she could have been like F. Jermaine Dupree, forget the rap game or something like that. But she didn't say that because she knows that all of these celebrities and all of these people all over was going to be watching that freestyle. So she played it very classy when she threw those shots towards that TV show. Obviously, you know, she is taking off. She is doing great. She's going to be the next big thing. Trust me. So congrats. Congratulations to our girl Mulatto. All right, now moving on. The next situation is a pretty sad situation that happened to Dami V and her family. And if you guys don't know who Dami V is, she is B Lou's girlfriend, and he's a popular reactor on YouTube, and he's also a rapper. So Dami V and her mother got into a physical altercation with her father. So her and her mother decided to call the police on her father because her father was the one who initiated the fight and started to fight her and when the police got there they were siding more with the father they didn't really side with her or her mother and her mother was saying on the video that she felt like the police officers just didn't care then she tried to grab Dami um, to walk away because Dami was very upset and she was going off then the police officer grabbed her mother and pinned her to the ground put his knee on her back and tased her and of course Dami V was very distraught she was yelling she was screaming she was even telling her dad look at what you did look at what you started now if you guys haven't seen the video make sure you go over to her Instagram so you can watch it if you're wondering what I'm talking about or if you just haven't seen it her Instagram is Dami Vatan. I cannot post it here on my channel because it is very explicit now Dami V did go on her insta story last night to talk a little more about the situation just to tell why she reacted the way she did because people had a lot of questions after they seen the video a lot of people were asking her why she didn't get the whole thing on video she was expressing some concerns that she had about her mom being you know with the police for the night she was just talking a lot more about the situation and if you guys haven't seen it yet you know i have it for you right here um, like finally getting out i don't can't even talk finally getting to bed or whatever my mom's still where she at at the uh i pray nothing happens to her tonight while she's still there she have court in the morning but i just want to say like all the people that's negatively saying things like y'all really wasn't there to know what happened and i was shaking up so the video is not like super duper clear it's obvious that she was trying to leave the scene and help me because obviously seeing things on the internet you know how the police handle things and how it escalates so by she was already shook enough of course from what happened before that while her phone sounds the way it sounds so i'm just saying like if you got nothing good to say please just don't say anything at all because it's always funny to people until something happens to them or happens to one of your family members or your friends happens to your friends um and just think about what you would do in a situation like that i mean 
Like, it's, it's, I didn't think that this could happen to me, but it happened to me. So, I really don't know as much what I could do. This is the only way I feel like I could help her. Because the only way I could help her is my platform. Other than that, they were just, they didn't care about me. They were laughing. They was making jokes about like, like nothing, just like everything wasn't just, they didn't even care about what happened to me. So, it just, I don't know. I just think that, I just pray that justice is served to my mother. And, um, the system is trash. But that's okay, because I know God. Um, I know God got us, but at least I would like for my fans and my supporters or everybody or anybody who supports these movements going on or just sees the injustice in a video. I just need everybody to stop what they're doing and let's do this massive prayer. I think God needs to hear everyone's voice right now. And uh, not just with the situation, just with situations like this, period. So if you can just pray, please pray, whatever you got to do. Um, little prayer, long prayer, whatever it is, all I will ask you guys is for you to pray i'm so serious like prayer really changes things and if i can get a massive amount of prayers going out to god i know that he can make a blessing happen out of the situation it really made me cringe when she said that the police officers were just laughing at her like how messed up in the head can these police officers be and this is what these marches and things are about but it's just like is it really working or are they getting worse to, for them to come to a scene and not really take that situation seriously because they see the color of her father's skin, which her father is white and her mother is, you know, African-American. And for them to not take it seriously and be trying to laugh, you know, with her dad was just really messed up after her dad just got done abusing her. And this just shows why people are making these memes and saying, who do we call as people when we're in trouble, when things are going on, when we need help? Because it seems like the people who are supposed to help us is more determined to harm us than help us. And I just think this whole situation that happened with her was really, really sad to see her crying on the ground like that for her mother, for her scared to death for her mother is just really sad. And if you guys live in Tulsa, make sure you help her out. If you know a good lawyer or anything, hit her up in her DM and help her out. Make sure you spread that video as far as you can and get her story heard. Anyways, moving on to DDG. It looks like his plan to quit YouTube until he's a big time rapper is actually working because he posted on his Insta story of people in Korea listening to his music. People all the way in Korea listening to DDG. Now, I was actually pretty excited about this because the closer he is to blowing up and becoming a worldwide rapper is the closer he'll be to coming back to YouTube. I think we can all say that we miss DDG's content and him just being here on YouTube. Now, I know his brother still has him in some of his videos, and I know Seven still posts him, but it's nothing like DDG vlogging and creating his own content. So make sure you guys keep on streaming his music, keep on looking at his videos on YouTube. Plus, I think it would be pretty fire when he blows up and he's taking the camera with him behind the scenes of you know his video shoots and on the road with him when he's on tour and on the stage he'll be the first ever artist to actually really do that and show his fans all of that even though queen did do that a little bit i feel like ddg would be the first one to actually show us everything because queen did show a lot but she doesn't show us everything that's going on still love my girl queen and still love ddg Anyways, you guys let me know what you feel about these three situations in the comments below. Once again, thank you for watching Tease Room. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And turn on those post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. I will see you guys in my next video.